Meta AI just destroyed OpenAI's ChatGPT. You might think I'm exaggerating, and I am, but only by a little bit. Over the course of the last two weeks, a combination of Meta AI's latest large language model, a great Bulgarian programmer, and a research group from Stanford has created the coolest thing in tech that I've seen for a while, a competitor to ChatGPT that you can run locally on your laptop. Two weeks ago, Meta released Llama, a foundational 65 billion parameter large language model. Their answer to OpenAI's series of GPT-3 models. Llama comes in a few different sizes. 65 billion, 33 billion, 13 billion, and 7 billion parameters. For context, the original GPT-3 was around 175 billion parameters. So Llama is clearly a lot smaller, but apparently Llama 65 billion is on the same level as GPT-3. Still, it's a far way from being accessible on regular consumer hardware. When Meta released their model weights, which is what you would need to actually use the model, they made it so that you had to request access from them to use the model. That's fine by me, but they also didn't provide the best toolkit for getting it to run locally. And that's where the open source community comes in. A few days ago, Georgia Gurganov, sorry for butchering your name, wrote a bunch of C++ code that allows anybody to run Llama locally as long as they have enough compute. In fact, it's so effective that somebody managed to run the 7 billion parameter version of Llama on a Raspberry Pi. Yes, on a computer as big as the palm of my hand, you can run a decently sized large language model. But Llama 7 doesn't really compare to GPT-3. It's just not that good. But if you have a beefier computer like an M1 Mac with a ton of RAM, you can actually run Llama 65 billion locally on your laptop. That's insane. I don't think anybody would have predicted this four months ago when ChatGPT came out in December. And even if they did predict it, I probably didn't believe them. That brings us to yesterday or two days ago, depending on when I upload this video. What if you can use the 7 billion parameter version, get performance equal to GPT-3, and run it locally on a computer that's honestly not that great? That would be insane and mark an amazing advancement in technology, in my opinion. Well, now you have all the pieces. Recently, Tatsu Lab at Stanford released Alpaca, an instruction-following version of Llama. Just like ChatGPT is an instruction-following version of GPT-3, Alpaca is an instruction-following version of Llama. More specifically, Alpaca is a fine-tuned version of the 7 billion parameter Llama. It was given 52,000 instructions and fine-tuned on these instructions following similar techniques to the ones listed in a paper titled Self-Instruct, aligning language models with self-generated instructions. Basically, they used GPT-3 to generate all of these instructions fine-tune Llama with these instructions, and then boom, you get Alpaca. In a preliminary human evaluation, they found that Alpaca 7 billion behaved similarly to Text DaVinci 003, OpenAI's flagship model. There's a live demo for you to go play with right now as long as you want to. Of course, it might be overloaded. This advance obviously has a few implications. First of all, it costs them only about $100 to fine-tune Llama in computing power. That's very, very cheap compared to a lot of the compute that goes into a lot of bigger, large language models. It's very, very cheap. Now when somebody adds this functionality to Llama.cpp, you can just run this locally on your computer for the cost of your computer and electricity. That's it. It's absolutely insane. And the cost of compute over time is only going to go down and the compute available for your average laptop is only going to go up. Engineers are only going to keep engineering ways to reduce the amount of compute you need and the compute available is going to go up. So you're going to be able to fit more and more and more advanced laptops on local hardware like your phone or your laptop. And that is a future I'm honestly very excited for. It's only March of 2023, and I suspect Meta will not be the only company to come out with a foundational large language model, and maybe there are gonna be some companies that even produce open source versions where the weights are completely available for anybody to use off the bat without having to torrent it or request academic access. We're going to be in a very, very interesting place by the end of the year, and no, I don't think OpenAI is gonna crash and burn because of this. In fact, I don't even think this is gonna negatively affect their business. I just had to put it in the title to get you to click on the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. It would help me and the channel out a ton. And YouTube is telling you to go watch this video. So why don't you go do that? The recommender system is really, really good. See you in the next one and peace out.